I'm on site. Since we're still on this um, really icky topic of R word and sexual assaults and abuse and all of that, um, let's talk about the big bad wolf, Harvey Weinstein. Ding, ding, ding. Niggas are shaking in their boots when they hear that name. Um, so Harvey Weinstein, he there's been a development in his um, case and story. You guys know he was accused of um being a sexual weirdo he was accused of r word he was accused of i think he was the guy who was accused of like jerking off on his stomach in front of like an employee or some shit like that i don't know i don't remember but anyway um all his convictions well ex- particularly his, his r word conviction has pretty much been overturned like the nigga's free now okay so <clears throat> let's read the story let's read what the story is saying yeah, so it's by BBC. Um, <laughs> well, fitting. Um, yeah. The story reads, Harvey Weinstein 2020 R-word conviction overturned in New York. Hmm. Disgraced Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein's 2020 R-word conviction in New York has been overturned on the basis that he did not receive a fair trial. Okay. The New York Court of Appeals said prosecutors in the pivotal Me Too case called w- witnesses whose accusations were not part of the charges against him. Okay, so that's one of the, the reasons they're saying it's not a fair trial. The court said that he, the court said, the court said that meant, what? The court said that meant he was unfairly tried f- for past behavior and it ordered a new trial. Weinstein, who's 72, damn, he was old, man. He's still in prison. He was, sep- he was separately convicted of R word in LA. <laughs> damn, what? Bro, he was separately convicted of R word in LA. And then, so he's fighting for a different trial in New York. Either way, you're still an r wettest You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't change if you're in a different city that, you know, now you're going to say, ah, no, I was accused there in LA. But there in New York, you know, they didn't do me right. But here, no, here I did it for you. But there, they didn't do me right. <laughs> My gosh. Anyway, the uh, Silence Breakers, a victim's group, called the reversal disheartening and profoundly unjust. While lawyers for the victim said the decision to retry was a leap backwards and tragic. Weinstein's lawyer, whose author hailed the reversal as a win for the legal system. No, it's a win for you. It's a win for your law firm. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jeez. There's still people who are very unpopular in our society, but we still have to apply the law fairly to them. True. I agree with that. In this courthouse behind us, at the trial, the laws would not apply fairly to Harvey Weinstein. In an interview with the New York Times, he said the decision was a victory for every criminal defendant in the state of New York. Okay, the court ruled a 4 to 3 ruling on Thursday, stating that the trial erroneously admitted testimony of uncharged alleged prior sexual acts against persons other than the complaints of the underlying crimes. But I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, some, um, sometimes that happens though. When you call witnesses, sometimes you, sometimes you don't call, you don't really call, okay, I guess they called witnesses because they witnessed what happened. But Sometimes they call witnesses and like the people were not even involved in what happened. Like sometimes they call, or is that to do like a testimony? I'm confused. Because sometimes they'll call um, a witness and the witness is like the, the person's parent or something. And the person has to, they start asking questions about this person. Da, da, da. But I just know that sometimes they call witnesses who are not involved in the trial. When they want to like build a picture of, or they want to build a pattern of a certain behavior they might call people that are not obviously directly involved in the case, but this person is used to build that pattern of, to show that this defendant has this pattern of this sort of behavior. So I don't know to say that because they called people, if this person, like if, if, if this person, if Harvey Weinstein had R rated some other person in a different time and then another person in a different time. And then the latter person, um, shoes him and all of that and goes to trial and then the lawyers now decide to call the the former person the first person that Harvey Weinstein or would as to build a um a, a, a trail of behavior a pattern of behavior then how is that against the legal system I don't understand but yeah anyway uh, 
Let's continue. The decision also said that the trial judge compounded the error by letting Weinstein be cross-examined in a way that portrayed him in a highly prejudicial light. That's what cross-examine is for. What do you mean, dog? Cross-examine is where you must feel the heat. You know, you must, you must, you must feel the heat. They're basically saying that they, they, they didn't handle this nigga with baby gloves. That's why they want to retrial. What? Come on. Uh, what is also saying? Ag accusations against Weinstein began in 2017 and sparked the Me Too movement, which exposed several sexual abuse at the highest levels of the Hollywood film industry. Yeah, it's still going on. Mm. Okay. Weinstein faced two trials in New York. He was jailed for 23 years in 2020 for sexually assaulting a former production assistant in 2006 and R. Wedding, an aspiring actress in 2013. He was last year sentenced to California 16 years for R. Wedding and talent model. Ah, man. This nigga is like, bro, why are we wasting time on this? <laughs> this nigga is like a fucking zero R. Wedding. It's like, why, why is one trial going to make a difference when he's been convicted on so many different... Get out of here. Wasting time, wasting resources, man. Oh, my God. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. That was a waste of time. But anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Whoa, 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 whoa.